Well, this doesn't look like the Rocky Mountains to me. We are actually back in the Midwest right now, Eagle River, Wisconsin area, headed up to the UP to go ride for the first time in four years. I'm stoked right now. We are on our way to go grab Jack. He just rolled in from Florida late last night. So it's gonna be a good day. We got some blue sky and uh, some warm weather. Gonna go see who we can meet up with. And uh, man, let's go find the old stomping grounds and get after it. Dude, thanks. Feels, <laughs> feels good to be back in the 715. Heck yeah, man. Feels so dang good to be back in the UP. Um, I'm adding some clutch weights right now from Bike Man, the sniper weights, and loading them up to the max. Um, we're gonna be making some serious horsepower down here with the 9R. I'm really stoked. It's been a few years since we've ridden off trail here in the UP. And a lot of that's been because of the trespassing issues up here and us not wanting to promote off trail riding in some of these areas that are seeing trail closures and experiencing issues from people riding off trail. So we're gonna be talking a lot this weekend about how we use the Onyx off road app to navigate around here. There is plenty of places to ride off trail here in the UP, legally and safely. We're at the Mosquito today. A lot of people ask us, oh, you just ride behind the Mosquito? Well, there actually isn't really anything legal to ride between the Mosquito and the lake. Um, if you look, that's all private land. So we're gonna be talking a lot about that this weekend because this is kind of our original backyard. We care a lot about snowmobiling in general, but snowmobiling in this area specifically. So. We want to see all the trails remain open. We want to see people riding off trail too, but just respecting boundaries and keeping it kosher. So we're going to get into that a little bit here. Chase has arrived uh, with his buddy Dimitri. We've ridden with Chase a bunch this year. and We actually rode with Dimitri last year out in Island Park. So kind of cool to have a little homecoming here in the UP. And we don't really know what to expect either. I mean, it's been a few years since we've ridden here. So most of our spots probably get all tracked out now. Everybody's discovered them. So I'm going to finish throwing these weights in here and then Let's get after it, man. Standing by the edge, No, Jack, I've followed you a lot of places, but uh, this this Hardcore might... <laughs> enduro is it what this is called. That's <laughs> just, all I have to say. Does not get much tighter. <laughs> I got into this situation. I think it's gonna play out though. Oh! 
Finally, we're back together. It's like four o'clock. Don't know when the last time I saw you guys was, but <laughs> it was back down that creek somewhere. Noon. <laughs> yeah. Me and Chase have been on the other side of this ridge, just like fighting for our lives, kind of. It's been, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys have been too, but yeah. it's just been a lot of log hopping, lots of stucks. I'm like dripping in sweat here. The saw's been out a few times, hey, Chase? The saw has been out. I cut my biggest tree ever with a saw. Like, it was. <laughs> 12 inches, 12 inches. Oh. You're yeah. gonna start a logging operation up here? I could have, I could have sold that for lumber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. We are kicking off day two, riding up here in the UP, riding the old stomping grounds. As you can see, we are in Houghton. We had to come and check out the lift bridge. It's an iconic spot uh, and a super cool place to ride sleds too. Yes, uh, the weather is really warm right now. It was like spring riding yesterday and the sun's trying to poke through the clouds today, but it's still like around 40 degrees. Yeah. So it's probably gonna be pretty tough up here the rest of the winter unless they get some snow, but we're actually enjoying it. Um, you know, looks like there's plenty of snow out west for the rest of the season, so we're gonna take advantage of the springtime weather here. Uh, we should be in jerseys today, honestly. Yeah. But uh, Chase and Dimitri, who we rode with yesterday, are getting ready right now, and we're a little bit farther north today, so uh, hopefully we get into some better snow than we were in yesterday. It looks like there's more on the ground up yeah. here anyway. Yeah. You may have noticed that we've been wearing our Highmark backpacks here in the backcountry, and I know we're gonna get roasted for this, but um, obviously there aren't many avalanches in Michigan. There's barely any. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're not, we've taken the canisters out at our probes and everything. One thing we've realized in the last few years of riding sleds all over the world is it's really important to carry a few necessary things with you when you're in the backcountry. Uh, we have a little bit of storage on the sleds too, but honestly we've destroyed every single tunnel bag that yeah. we've tried over the years. So still looking for good tunnel bag recommendations but we're gonna we're gonna hit oh my god there's this dude there's this dude that has been riding this heavy yamaha snowmobile underneath the lift bridge here highly recommend not doing that <laughs> not much ice there yeah so uh back to this i guess anyways we've learned a lot and uh that's why we were in the pack so we're super prepared this trip it's gonna be a super fun day chase and dimitri are gonna kind of show us around we tried to find what we used to ride when we were up here um, using Onyx and finding the public land and everything. But honestly, there's been a lot of forest regeneration since we rode here. So some of our spots are a little bit thicker than what we're used to. But yeah, we're going to check out something a little bit further north today, which should be really fun. We think there's a little bit more snow on the ground up here. So let's uh, look it after. Yeah.
But we've been getting after it here on day two. It's just insane how unseasonably warm it is. We've just been talking about all day. Been seeing little mosquitoes and stuff flying around. Unfortunately, the snow is melting fast, but this warm weather is gonna be nice for Bents this weekend. Yeah, it's like slush right now up here. Um, it's crazy, it, definitely mashed potatoes type snow that we're, we're dealing with, but it's kind of fun in the UP here. Yeah. Like this terrain, as you can see, it's not very tall. You know, we're not going through a lot of vertical feet, uh, but you get into these creek beds and drainages and it's really fun to just play around. It's, I mean, it's tough. You, you have to be very precise with your movements. And if you aren't, you uh, end up with a bent front bumper like I just did. But um, <laughs> this bumper saved my hood and plastics and pipes. So that's awesome. And I just texted the Backwoods boys and hope to have another one on the way. So we are gonna head out pretty soon here. We're gonna get some more lines in. I'm having fun. This thing is yeah. like, this thing's ripping. It's just jumping out of the snow, kind of, when you can get traction. <laughs> and. Um, this will be our last day on the snow because the weather's supposed to turn even worse, but then there could be more snow at the end of the week. But we're going to be heading down to Ben's camp for the annual radar run. Um, it's a fundraiser for the local snowmobile club. I'm super involved at Ben's camp and help put this event together a little bit. So um, we're going to be down there for the weekend. This weather's going to be awesome for that because it's going to be, everybody's going to be outside and it's going to be fun. Lots to look forward to the rest of this trip. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep ripping up this little zone that Chase brought us into. <laughs> Cheers to that. That's the first blown belt I've had on a skidoo, I think, actually. That will happen when it's 40 degrees out and springy, slushy snow. And you probably have 600 miles on this thing now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, quite a few miles on it and just a lot of wide open miles. But it's been a super fun trip up here to the UP again, getting back into some of the zones and the hardwood type riding that they have up here. It's, it's very unique. Uh, it's not something that you really see anywhere else in the United States. So we were reminiscing on some pow days that we've had in years past. Like the first year that we bought mountain sleds and when this all happened, it was like an epic snow year yeah. up here in the UP. And we were saying like, if it was a snow year like this year, we wouldn't have progressed and maybe fell in love with backcountry snowmobiling the way we did and started taking trips out west. So wish there was better snow here, but we're still having a blast. So. We're gonna load up, we're heading south to Land Lakes, Wisconsin, just over the other side of the border, where I'm from. We're gonna hit Ben's Camp Radar Run. So, time to load her up. We're gonna have to stop at Trackside and get you a belt. Yeah, right? yeah, that's mandatory. We're 
out here cruising the lakes in the old Chevy Scottsdale because uh, there really isn't that much snow and our high facts would melt instantly if we took our sleds out here. So we're cruising around. This thing is my beater vehicle from back in Wisconsin. Uh, my truck's out west right now. We're missing Dylan too. You might notice that he's out of town this weekend. He's got um, some family tradition stuff that he does this weekend. It's also his birthday today. So wish Dylan Rose a happy birthday. Um, can't remember how old he is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so wish Rambler Rose a happy birthday in the comments. Another year of shredding coming down the line. But uh, we're just rolling up to vents here now and uh, we'll show you guys around the grounds and everything that's going on for the weekend. So this is the moment that everyone's been waiting for. We've had a ton of radar runs all day, like record-breaking turnout for registration. All the registration proceeds go to the club, so raising a ton of money for them. But right now, it's the bikini run. These chicks are completely badass. They stripped out into their bikinis going 100 miles an hour down this frozen ice track. So we're kicking off the final event here at Ben's Camp for the evening. We've got live music then tonight. This is just an all-around great day. I can't believe the blue sky. I've just seen so many people. This is so overwhelming. So this track is gnarly this year, but it's blue skies and thankfully it's not too cold. So let's see what these girls got. Here we go. And just like that, it's over. Radar Run 2023 has come to an end and it was just an outstanding turnout. We raised so much money for the Frosty Snowmobile Club, thousands of dollars. There was hundreds of people that ran in the Radar Runs, a real successful bikini run, and we had a great party last night as well. For us, it's time to load up the trailer and head it back west. We're about halfway through our snowmobile season right now. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs every week, you've seen our adventures up to Canada, Montana, all over the place, and we've got a lot in store for the rest of the season. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.